viewers to the 11th episode in a series of episodes that are focused on the 2023 internal mathematics paper 1. So if you haven't seen the other episodes please check on our YouTube channel. Alternatively you can look at the description section and download the companion app that you can also find on the Play Store where you'll we'll be able to find past papers, you'll we'll be able to see quizzes where you can test yourself for both pure sciences and non-pure sciences. You can also find some Cambridge papers there to help you prepare for your exams and get instant results. So let us look at question 11. The diagram shows two towns A and B on the equator. A is on the longitude 30 degrees west and B is on the longitude X. So you can see the the earth diagram there. The time at B is 17.05 hours when it is 14.05 hours at A. Find the longitude X. So the question is asking us to find the value of X. What is this longitude? What's the value? So to answer this question, we're using the fact that one hour is equivalent to 15 degrees. So one hour difference is equivalent to 15 degrees difference. So given that we're given the time at A, so at A, the time is 14.05 hours. Then at B, the time is 17.05 hours. So meaning at B, the time is ahead of A. Let us find the time difference. So time difference is 17.05 minus 14.05. So the difference is 3 hours exactly. That's the difference. Now we know that 1 hour difference is equivalent to 15 degrees. Then 3 hours difference is equal to what? X. So we solve for X, we cross. So it will be X times 1 hour. We have X hour is equal to 3, three hour times 15 degrees. So this gives me 45 hours. So for 45 degrees hours. So now I need to solve for X. What do I do? I divide by hour. I'm going to end up with X is equal to 45 degrees. So since x is equal to 45 degrees this tells me that the difference in longitude in terms of degrees between a and b is in 45 degrees so this difference is 45 degrees now if this is 30 then it means to get to b we need to subtract by 45 degrees such that the difference in time is equal to 45 degrees. So as you notice, the time from the east is ahead than the time from the west because the east becomes darker before the west. That's why you're noticing that at B, the time is ahead. Then at A, the time is behind because the sun is moving in this direction. So we need to find this difference. So what we do is we we'll just say 30 degrees minus 45. This gives me negative 15 degrees. So this negative 15 degrees tells me that you are crossing this GMT. 15 degrees beyond this GMT. Meaning at X, you're going to end up with X is equal to 15 degrees east. So that you have 30 degrees to the west, which is this one, 30 degrees. Then you have another... 15 degrees beyond the GMT, which is in this one. So this is east. Such that when you add these two, we are going to end up with 45 degrees difference. Because remember, if one is in the east, one is in the west, you add. That's the principle that you use. So this tells me that the value of x is 15 degrees east. Then question B, a ship sailed due east from A to B at an average speed of 450 knots. Find the time it took the ship to travel from A to B. So we are looking for the time it took. So we have the speed. Then since we know the difference in these degrees, and this is along the great circle, 
we can find the distance because the distance needs to be in e, not comma house. We just use this formula. So I'll use this one to solve beam. So we use this formula where distance is given by the, the, the difference in latitude, which we've already found to be 45 degrees, multiplied by 60 nautical miles. So per every degree difference, we have 60 nautical miles. Then, once we find the distance, then you can use this formula, which is speed is equal to distance divided by time to find the t. We'll be able to find this distance using this formula. Then speed has been given to us, which is 450. So let us find the distance first. So distance is equal to this difference in between this latitude is in 45 degrees between these two towns. Relative to the center, this is 45. So we're going to say 45 degrees, the one that we just found in here, this one, multiply by 60. Then we use this, we can say 6, then 45. 5 times 0 is see, 0, 5 times 0. 6 is 300, which is 30 there, then you have 0, then you have 24. So what we get is 2,700. So we get 2,700, which is 2,700 nautical miles. This is the distance. Then you can use this one to find T. We just make T the subject formula. So T is equal to distance over time. So we have 2,700 nautical miles divided by the speed, which is we are given here 450. So we divide. So it will be 3 into 45 is 15. 3 into 27 is 9. So this is become 90. 15 into 90 is 6. So we have 6 hours. So the answer there is 6 hours. So if you check here, we have 45 degrees, then you have 6 hours. These are the answers. So this is how you answer this question to get these three marks.